Um, hey, how are you guys doing? Um, I thought I'd just do a quick video before I head out since I have a couple minutes to spare. And um, it's something that's been on my heart for a couple couple months now, really. And um, you guys probably heard people talk about this on YouTube. But the thing that's big now is social media and comparing our lives to other people on social media. And I'm here to tell you that, you know, sometimes I think it's best to take a break. You know, they call it fasting or whatever it is you want to call it, but just miniature breaks. Because I think, you know, we spend so many hours. I don't think we realize how many hours we spend on on um, online. And everything you watch or listen to or basically anything that you let into your spirit, it affects you whether that be good or bad, good or bad. That's why a lot of people tell you, you know, be careful what type of music you listen to. Be careful, um, you know, the people that you let speak into your life. And, you know, it tells you in the Bible to guard your heart. You know, you want to guard your eyes, guard your ear gates. So think about when you're scrolling and scrolling and scrolling and then you get off of um, Instagram, Facebook, or whatever it is that you're watching and you feel some type of way about your own life. That's telling you that you're not protecting your heart. You're not protecting your eye gates, your ear gates. You're not protecting those things. So um, a lot of times we see people living this luxury life or we see people in a relationship and we put goals and we're not knowing. I mean, I get it because I've done it too before, but I noticed that a lot of relationships where I was putting goals, you know, later in life, it, it turns out that those aren't my goals. You know what I'm saying? They're going through things that I would never want to experience in a relationship. And that's the thing. We feel dissatisfaction about our own lives when we don't know what goes on behind closed doors in other people's lives. So again, I get it. You know, we all have goals. We have vision boards. We have things we want to strive for. But I think that if you let it become a point where you're obsessed with a couple or you, you see people on your feed and... You, you start to have this bitterness in your heart because it can work, work both ways. Either you become super obsessed with a couple and wanting their life and not knowing what they're really going through. You know, you're just comparing what you see, the pictures they post. Everybody posts the good pictures. Everybody posts their highlights, but they're not posting what they're really going through. So you either become obsessed with this fantasy idea or some people do have healthy relationships and they post it, you know, so I'm not knocking anybody, you know, for posting their their relationships because I would do the same thing you know but um, I'm talking about the people that are looking at these pictures like where is your heart you know when you're looking at these things so either you're super obsessed or you have a lot of bitterness and jealousy in your heart where you can't be happy for other people and then you start to uh, you know wish bad on other people or you just um you, you just want what they have, and because you don't have it, you're not satisfied. So now you're not content with your portion. When in actuality, just because you're single, you could be living a more fulfilling life than somebody that's in a relationship, and vice versa. You know what I'm saying? So let's not compare, you know, it, it, you never know, too. It's married people that wish they were single. They look at single people, and they see them on Instagram, and they're like, man, you know, I wish the days that I was free and this and that. And then you have single people wishing to be married. So the point of this is to not look at somebody else's life. Focus on your own life. Make sure that you're whole. Um, you know what I'm saying? Be content with what you with what you have because you know when you're not content, you're you're unhappy. And you're a lot of us are blessed beyond measure. If we really really sit and look around, like dang, you know, I have a roof over my head. I have a working car. I have a pretty decent car. I have a, a you know an okay paying job. You know. Let's start being happy with what we have. And um, I also want to talk about, you know, we see a lot of these girls and, you know, they taking trips and they got on all these designer clothes. And we what do they say? You know, you're trying to keep up with the Joneses. You know, you're you're spending more than what your, your bank account says that you have. You know what I'm saying? But you laid on your bills. We got to stop letting social media make us feel like we have to keep up with these people. It's okay to look nice. It's okay to want nice things, but stay in your budget. You know what I'm saying? You out here looking at Louis bags on a Marshall's budget. You know, and they got hand, name brand handbags at Marshall's. Like shop within your your means. 
And if you want those other things, you know what I'm saying? Write it down and come up with a realistic plan. Like, okay, every every month I'm gonna put aside a hundred dollars so that I can get what I really want. But don't go out here and rush and buy these things and then after you get it, you just you just dead broke. You looking fly and you broke. And now you unhappy and you miserable. And you're like, I need to go pick up another job. I need to do this. I need to do that. You mentally, like it's bad on your mental health, your physical well-being. Like let's get our stuff together and then write down a plan on a piece of paper. Write down all your bills, what each of your bills um, amount to and what you have left over to save in your emergency funds, uh, save to invest, and then your you know, additional accessories like going out to eat and nice clothes and stuff. Let's start writing these things down and let's stop um, letting social media feel like we have to buy this and we have to buy that. You know, same with Jordan. You don't need every Jordan that comes out and you don't even own property. Like we really need to start thinking about these things, you know, and I've I've been there. I've done that. You know, I'm like, you know, you tell yourself, oh, I'm working hard. I deserve these things. Like I'm working 40 hours a week, 50 hours a week. Let me treat myself. You know what I'm saying? I, and I get that because I thought like that too. But then I figure whenever I thought like that, I end up always overspending what I didn't have. And I added more stress on myself because like, okay, now I'm like, Okay, before I was working 50 hours a week, let me pick up 60 hours a week because now I got to make up this money I spent. Now I'm more tired. I'm more irritated. You know what I'm saying? So it ends up hurting you when you have that type of thinking versus planning for things that you want with the hours you've already been working. You know, you don't need to take on a lot. of. Some people do need to take on a lot of hours. Maybe they have debt or whatever. But a lot of us, we're taking on all these hours at work, but that's because we're not... Uh, diligent with our money is because we're trying to keep up with other people so let's stop and let's take the time to plan and let's not compare our lives to other people because number one we don't know how they got that money and who bought it for them number two some people do work hard to get the stuff that they have again they're at a different t point in their life and you can work to that point you can work to the point or plan to the point where you're able to live comfortable and buy whatever it is you want but Stop comparing where you are in your life to where somebody else is in their life because we don't know what it took to get them there, the hard work, the dedication, or the fact that somebody else could be buying it for them. We don't know. So focus on you. Um, look, Watch there's so many YouTube videos right now um, telling you different places you can shop. People are thrifting, and you could turn a little $2 outfit and make it look like it's worth $50. Like, jazz up what you have. Work with what you have. You know, luxury doesn't have a price. You know what I'm saying? You can look good with, for a couple of dollars. It's all in how you put things together. I've seen people wear expensive things and it looked basic to me like a cake, like a Target outfit. You know what I'm saying? So why not shop at Target and Marshalls and Burlington? I like all them stores. You know what I'm saying? And get what you can afford and, and dress it up and make it look like, you know, it came up out of... Um, I don't know, whatever them stores is on Rodeo Drive, you know what I'm saying? Make it look high fashion. So yeah, I just want to encourage you ladies to be okay with where you are in life. Don't beat yourself up if you feel yourself getting consumed with social media or spending too much time. Or, you know, if you notice you're getting offline and you're just feeling down, you're feeling bad about your own life, then that's a sign that, you know, it's time to take a break. And while you're taking that break, really write down what it is that you want, what you want to accomplish, and focus on that. And when you decide to get back on social media, try to give yourself a time limit. Like, okay, I'm not going to scroll more than 15, 20 minutes. And then I'm off to do something on my list. And you'll start feeling better about yourself. And then when you do get on, you'll know how to, um, you know take things for what it is but not feel pressured about your own life you know you go on social media you show support you encourage people um comment on their pictures give positive you know feedback you know it's cool to tell people oh you looking good or i love your outfit you know draw inspiration but don't let it drain you and don't let it make you feel bad about your own life and don't let these likes and comments get to our head i'm seeing people just post anything just ridiculous things or just anything to get an attention, to get some likes. 
and it's not worth it. You know, I'm seeing people post things that's out of their character. It's not even like that's who they are. They're just doing things to get attention. And it's like, okay, once we're done tapping that like button, we done forgot all about you. So you done did put all this effort in. You taking pictures all type of ways that you would have never probably taken pictures before if it hadn't been for social media. And once we doubt, double tap that picture, we scrolling on to the next person. Like we ain't even thinking about what you posted or what you doing. So, you know, we all like positive comments. You know, we do want people to like our pictures and stuff, but don't be so consumed with the feedback. Just be natural, post what it is you want to post. As long as you like it, that's what matters, you know? And um, yeah, I'm just, I just think we got to do a little better because I think as the generations go by, it's going to get crazier and crazier. Um, I walk down the street or I go to the mall, I go to the movies, people are on their phones, they're not even talking to the people that they're with. You know, this is how relationships are crumbling because people aren't communicating, they're too busy on their phones. They're out to dinner with their partner, they're on their phones. You know, and that doesn't make somebody feel good. You talking and you scrolling on Instagram, worried about somebody else's relationship goals and your relationship is crumbling because you're not paying them any attention, you're too busy on social media. Or same with friendships, you know what I'm saying? You looking at every, you know, the clicks on social media, the cool clicks, and you want that and you're not even um, watering your own friendships because you're too busy on the phone. So let's focus on ourselves. Let's continue to grow. Let's continue to strive. Let's use social media for networking or just positive positivity or whatever. And then let's learn when to put it to the side. So yeah, that's my message for today. Um, hopefully it gives you guys something to think about. Again, I'm not against social media. I love it. I'm on there too as well. I'm just learning to cut back and not to let it to affect me and not allow it to let me feel like I need more, I need to do more, or that I'm not enough. And um, I hope this message resonates with you. And yeah, so I'll talk to you guys next week. Bye.